Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on a brand new Tarte palette that I just grabbed at my local Ulta this weekend. We were actually out at the mall and we were fitting my son for his tuxedo for my sister's wedding that's coming up next month. It was so adorable. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys pictures. Um, but anyway, I popped into Ulta and I spotted this palette right out on the front table and I was surprised because I thought that the um, launch date for Ulta was going to be May 15th, which is tomorrow. I don't know if that was just the website and maybe the stores were putting them out early, but either way, I got my hands on it and I actually told myself I wasn't going to buy this palette because it looks like a lot of other palettes in my collection. It's very like basic and neutral, but I saw it and I was like, I need to have this palette. I wear neutrals more than anything, so a neutral palette just always calls out to me and wants me to buy it. So I did end up bringing it home, but the good news is it was almost free because I had a ton of Ulta points. Go Ulta! Um, so anyway, this is a collaboration with Aspen Obard. I had never actually heard of her before um, she did a collaboration with Pixie Beauty, I think back in the fall. And then I started following her and I definitely can see her choosing the colors in this palette because it is super neutral. I think a lot of people are kind of upset that it's not more colorful, but um, you know, this isn't just Tarte coming out with the palette, it's actually Aspen's palette. So I think, you know, she's gonna choose colors that would fit her and what she would wear on a normal basis. You know, if she's not into like rainbow or bright colors, why would she pick that? Like it wouldn't really make sense. So I think that the colors in this palette definitely make sense as far as Aspen is concerned. So anyway, uh, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. The packaging on the outside is mirrored. It's super reflective. It's rose gold. It has this beautiful floral pattern on it. It says Aspen's name and then Tarte underneath. Inside you get a huge mirror, nine eyeshadows with a mix of matte and shimmer finishes, plus a blush and a highlight. So this is a face palette and I was really happy about that. I love face palettes. I think they're great for travel, especially now that vacation season is coming up. I was definitely looking forward to maybe taking this with me on some trips. So I've used this palette twice now. I used it yesterday, I used it again today, and I think that the formula is very consistent with all of Tarte's other palettes so if you really like their Amazonian clay formula you will definitely like this one um, it has I think it blends beautifully it has the vanilla scent to it that all the other palettes have actually you know what let's just jump into some swatches and that way I can talk about the formula across the different finishes so there are three lighter more highlight type shades in the palette one has a satin finish and then the other two are matte and I find that these kind of blend into my skin tone a little bit. When I'm applying them to my eyes, they almost disappear because I'm so fair. And then there are two mid-tone transition shades. These are both mattes, and the mattes in this palette are so beautiful. They blend like a dream. They're velvety, they're soft, incredibly pigmented. Then there are three shimmers in this palette. There's a really light gold champagne color, there's a medium coppery color, and then a deep brown. The medium copper shade, which is called Heart of Gold, is different than the other two. The other two I thought were really buttery and smooth, but Heart of Gold has that more flaky, chunky, metallic texture to it. So it has a lot of fallout and it doesn't apply to the eyes with a brush as well as the other two do. I think the other two are just way smoother, they pick up easier, and Heart of Gold is just super chunky. And even when I tried to use it wet or apply it with my finger, I still had a lot of fallout. So that's really the only shade that I had trouble with in this palette. And then the last shade is really the only deep shade in the palette. This is a rich, warm brown color that I like to use in the outer corner of my eye or up into my crease. And then the blush is absolutely beautiful. It's just one of those universal pink blushes that I think would go with just about any look you'd wanna create, whether it's cool or warm toned. And then the highlighter is a really beautiful champagne color and it's super smooth, not chunky or glittery. It's just buttery and gorgeous. So while I like the formula overall, except for that one shade that I had trouble with, um, I think that this palette is very limited in the types of looks that it can create because the three really light shades end up all looking the same on me. They sort of blend right into my skin tone and disappear. Um, so I kind of wish that they had used at least one of those shades for maybe a deeper color because there's only one deep shade in this whole palette. And then you have your three different shimmer shades, but I feel like those three are the only thing that could change up a look a little bit. Like today I'm wearing the more champagne color on my lid. If I used maybe the coppery one another time, I might get a slightly different look out of it, but overall everything's gonna look pretty much the same when you use this palette. I do love the blush. I think the blush is gorgeous. I like the highlight as well. But that being said, 
I already have another palette in my collection that is so close to this and that would be the Clay Play 2 and I want to show this to you guys because you might have this palette as well and if you do I think there's no reason to even bother getting this one because the Clay Play 2 is so so similar. Just looking at the two side by side you can see they both have nine eyeshadows. They're all very very similar in tone. They also have very similar blushes and highlights. The Clay Play 2 has the addition of a bronzer in there, which makes it even more useful as a face palette, in my opinion. So looking at the swatches side by side, you can see how similar these palettes are. Um, in some cases, the Aspen palette is a little bit more warm toned. In some cases, it's more cool toned than the Clay Play 2. But overall, I think you could get extremely similar looks with this. And I was especially surprised to see that the blush and the highlighter are almost identical in both palettes. And truly, once they're on your eyes, I don't think you're going to notice much of a difference. I also found that the shades in the Clay Play 2 are just maybe a little bit more smooth and pigmented than the ones in the Aspen palette, particularly that copper shade that I had trouble with in the Aspen palette. The counterpart in the Clay Play 2 is so soft and smooth and buttery and I have no trouble with any of the shades in Clay Play 2. So now that I've compared the two palettes, I think I'm actually going to return the Aspen palette to Ulta just because it's way too similar to the Clay Play 2, which I didn't realize when I bought it, but now that I've seen them side by side, it's like there's no reason for me to have this other palette because they're almost the same and I can get so many of the same looks out of them. I also would prefer to travel with the Clay Play 2 just because it has the bronzer in it as well. And also I didn't have trouble with any of the shades in the Clay Play 2 whereas there was that one shade in the Aspen palette that just had a ton of crumbly glittery fallout. But that being said, if you don't have the Clay Play 2 or if you don't have a large makeup collection, maybe you're just getting into makeup or maybe you want to buy it for someone who's just getting into makeup, I think that the Aspen palette is a beautiful neutral palette and um, the colors are really easy to wear. It's nothing too crazy. Um, also, it's very office appropriate. So if you like neutral palettes, if you don't have a lot of them and you want one, I think it's a really nice palette. It's just that for me personally, I don't need it because I have something so super similar and you might too. So anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would also love to hear from you in the comments. Will you be buying this palette? Are you skipping it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.